How's it going everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete all of your images in your Canva trash folder automatically without having to delete them one by one manually like this, which is currently the only way you can delete your images in your trash folder on Canva. There's no select all button or delete all button, but there is a workaround which I'm going to share with you right now. First thing you want to do is go to your trash folder and what you're going to see is this grid view of all your images that are deleted in the folder. You want to click on this icon and change it to list view. Next, you're going to go to this link, which I'm going to put in the description and download the software called auto clicker by mouse tool. Click on download. Once you've clicked on download, you're going to go to your downloads folder and you're going to have this file, which we're going to double click and it's going to open up the software. There's no installation. This is a portable software, which opens up right away. We're going to open up our Canva tab and we're going to put this software in the top left corner of our screen. And essentially what we're trying to tell the software to do is to automatically click on certain parts of the screen in a given sequence for us without us having to do anything. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the button right here, which says pick. Once we click on this button, it'll allow us to pick a point on the screen we want the software to click on. So we're going to click pick, software goes away. We got our screen here and as you can see, as I scroll my cursor, you can see these coordinates beside the cursor, these numeric values which are changing and those are the coordinates of that exact point on the screen so we're going to click these three dots because this is how you delete a photo on canva so this is the first click we want the software to do automatically for us once we do that as you can see i clicked and the software opened back up it gave us the coordinates for that point on the screen and we're going to click on add position that's going to add that specific click to this queued cursor positions chart right over here Next, we're going to click on pick again, and this time we're going to click on delete permanently because that's the next thing we want our software to click. Once we do that, program opens back up. We got different coordinates now, and we're going to simply click on add position again. Finally, we need to click on pick again and click delete permanently. And as we click on that, we can see we got new coordinates right here, and we're going to click add position. So essentially, we added three different cursor positions that we want our software to go to and click, which are click on these three dots, click on delete permanently and click on delete permanently again. And that deletes the image from Canva. And we want our software to repeat this behavior over and over again. So the last thing we're going to change is the number of repeats. And you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to put it to a thousand because I believe I have around 800 images in my trash folder here. And once that's done, you're simply just going to click on start clicking and you're going to watch the software as it deletes all your images super fast without you having to do any work. You know, if you have a thousand images, leave this on for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes When you come back, all your images will be deleted and you'll free up the storage on your Canva account so you can upload more images. I hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I hope that you have a great day.